Hello students, in this video we will discuss example 22 of trigonometric functions tan 2x is equals to minus cot x plus pi by 3. As we know we have the theta relation for sin theta is equals to sin y, cos theta is equals to cos y and tan theta is equals to tan y. We don't have any theta relations for tan theta is equals to cot y. In order to make the given equation in the form of tan theta is equal to tan y, we need to convert the cot into tan. For that, you need to understand the quadrant and its values. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. It starts from 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. So in the first quadrant, all the measures will be in between 90 minus theta and 360 plus theta. As this quadrant did not cross 90, all the measures will be in between 90 minus theta and this, this quadrant has already crossed 360, that's why it will be 360 plus theta. Similarly, in this quadrant you will have all the measures in between 90 plus theta and 180 minus theta and in the third quadrant 180 plus theta, 270 minus theta, in the fourth quadrant 270 plus theta and 360 minus theta. And in the first quadrant, all the trigonometric functions are positive. Here, only sine and cosec is positive. Here, tan and cot is positive. And here, cos and sec is positive. You need to understand this well. And for 90 and 270 values, trigonometric functions will change from sine to cos, tan to cot, and sec to cosec. For example, sine 90 plus theta is equal to cos theta. As we have 90 here, the sine will convert to cos theta. And the sine in the second quadrant is positive, isn't it? That's why you have a positive cos theta here. Understanding me, right? Therefore, tan 90 plus theta is equal to minus cot theta. As you have 90 here, the tan will convert to cot. And 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, the tan is negative. That's why you have a negative sign here. So tan 90 plus theta minus cos theta, we can also write it as minus cos theta is equal to tan 90 plus theta. So this minus cot theta will be tan 90 plus theta. Understanding me, right? 90 is nothing but pi by 2. So the minus cot theta will be tan 90 plus theta. Compare this and see minus cot theta is equal to tan 90 plus theta. That is minus cot theta is equal to tan 90 plus theta. This whole term is theta. That is x plus pi by 3 is theta. So what we get is tan 2x is equal to tan 5 pi by 6 plus 6. When I add this pi by 2 and pi by 3, I get 5 pi by 6 and plus x. So now this equation is in the form of tan theta is equal to tan y. This here 2x will be theta and this whole term will be y. That's why tan theta is equal to tan y. For tan theta is equal to tan y, we have a relation theta is equal to n pi plus y. So what is theta here? 2x n pi plus y. What is y? y is 5 pi by 6 plus x. So now I take this x on the other side of the equation that is 2x minus x that is n pi plus 5 pi by 6. So 2x minus x is x and n pi plus 5 pi by 6 where n belongs to integers. So this is the general equation of this equation. That's all. Thank you students. If you have any questions, let me know in comments below. Thank you.